Hey guys, so I just filmed a video on 10 tips to transition to natural hair. Um, and I thought I would do another video just kind of doing like a transitioning starter kit. Like if you are new to the transitioning game or if you're thinking about going natural and you're going to be transitioning soon, these are like the basic things that you want to make sure you have in your arsenal of products. I'm a product junkie, so when I was transitioning, I watched YouTube videos, I read blogs, and I felt like, oh my god, I gotta go buy everything they're saying I need to buy. And now that I've been natural for a little bit over a year, I don't even use half of the things that I went out and thought that I just had to have. Um, as far as products go, I do use my products because I try to um, try a different line of styling products every month, but as, but as far as like all the accessories and rollers and, and all that kind of stuff that I bought I don't even use a lot of them but when I was transitioning that's when I was like experimenting with my hair and you know you kind of like feel like oh my god I don't know what the heck to do with my hair so you want to buy all these things and you want to try these different things but like I said these are like the core things that if you do want to go out and get some things just to make sure that you're good to go throughout your journey these are some things that are good to have and as a disclaimer these are the things that I like that I have but as far as like the brands, obviously get whatever brand you want. These are the ones that I just have on hand because these are the ones that I like. Um, but if it's a price range that's too high or too low for you or a brand that you don't like or a product that doesn't work well with your hair, I'm not saying you have to use these. Just get something like this. Like if I show you a shampoo, it doesn't mean this is the only shampoo that works if you're transitioning. This is the one that works for me. But what that means is get a shampoo that is a sulfate free shampoo, but of whatever brand you like. So I know it seems kind of silly that I have to say that, but for whatever reason, some people get mad at, you know, certain things that you buy, but no one on YouTube is saying you have to buy this particular brand. This is just what works for that individual. And if you want to try that same brand, you can, if you want to incorporate something similar, that's on you. These are just suggestions, but like I said, these are my suggestions for a transitioning starter kit. So I think the first thing I'll start with is like your base products, which you'll use in the shower. So personally, I think when you're transitioning, you want to try to use as much natural products as you possibly can. I still try to use a lot of natural products now, um, but you know, some products are not going to be as natural as you may want it, but they still work really well. But for sure, during my transitioning journey, if it wasn't natural, I wasn't using it. Okay, so one of the first things you want to get is a shampoo. Um, some people prefer to co-wash more often because shampoo can be very drying. But if you find a really good shampoo that you like, um, like this was one that I really like, the Ultra Nourishing Cleansing Oil. I started using this since I've been natural. I didn't use this when I was um, transitioning. I used one that was completely natural. Um, there's a ton of them out there you guys can find, but this is just the one that I absolutely love right now. Um, it's a cleansing oil, but it's basically like a shampoo, and so it's not going to dry out your hair. It's not going to cause any kind of like brittleness or anything like that. Personally, I prefer using shampoo um, over co-washing. I'll co-wash every once in a while. I think it just really depends on how often you wash your hair. If you're washing your hair multiple times a week, then you're going to want to only shampoo once and co-wash the other times. Um, but when I do co-wash, this is one that I really like, the Eden Body Works Natural Cleansing Co-Wash. Another thing you're going to want is a conditioner. This is something that I love right now. Um, this is the One Condition Decadence. This really provides a lot of moisture to my hair. Um, since I've been natural, my hair has been drier than it was obviously when I was relaxed. And this has really, really helped. So make sure you have a good conditioner. The next thing that is super duper important is a deep conditioner. So this is something that I was using since the beginning of my transitioning journey. This is the Apogee Curlific Texture Treatment. So this one is supposed to improve elasticity, repairs damaged curls, coils, and waves. And so I thought this was like such a good um, product to incorporate into my transitioning journey and even now too because what I would do, which I still do, is mix two different conditioners. So this one I used to really, really make sure to concentrate it on that new growth because I wanted to treat my whole hair like curly hair but especially that new growth is like super duper dry and adjusting to this new texture that you're not gonna get relaxed again and so this just really helped maintain those curls help bring those curls to life keep them moisturized um help define them and i really love this one 
The other conditioner that I love right now is the Meltdown Extreme Repair Mask. And like I said, these are the things that I'm using right now, but when I was transitioning, I made sure that everything was completely natural. And you still wanna do that when you're fully natural, but sometimes you find that products that may not be 100% natural, just work a little better in your hair because they have some of the ingredients that maybe your hair just needs. Um, because I did find that sometimes I wouldn't have the best results with my hair because I just didn't have the ingredients that were necessary to make my hair look the way I wanted it to. So this is a favorite of mine. Um, like I said, it's the We Dad Curl Recovery Meltdown Extreme Repair Mask. So I will put both of these in each section of my hair um, in order to deep condition them. Another thing I do, which I didn't bring over here, is I also use apple cider vinegar, which is awesome. Some people just only cleanse their hair with that. I spray that on each section of my hair after I have put my deep conditioners in there. So that's something that you might want to incorporate as well. Um, and then you want to have some type of treatment. So the one I have is the Apogee Keratin 2 Minute Reconstructor. So this is just going to restore any kind of damage that's going on in your hair that could be from your relaxer that you were getting, from the heat damage, from the environment, from maybe certain products you're putting in your hair, from the hard water that may be coming from your um, shower when you wash your hair. This is just gonna like clean out all that stuff and make your hair really manageable and just keep it healthy. So this is another thing that I've been using the entire time that I've been on my hair journey and still use it now. Okay. The next thing that's awesome is pre-poo. I always, always pre-pooed before I washed my hair. So my pre-poo would consist of just a ton of different oils mix and then I would use a conditioner or sometimes you can buy one. I love the Carol's Daughter. Um, they have like a pre-poo treatment, which I think I showed in my staple hair products videos. Um, but yeah, some oils, whatever oils you think are good for you and a conditioner. And that's just gonna help you not only moisturize your scalp, moisturize your hair, it's going to help detangle your hair, it's going to just let all those products soak in your hair and just make it moisturized and healthy and make sure it's growing properly. So this is not something that's necessary but if you want to make sure the products are absorbed more into your hair and help with that detangling process, a steamer is really good. I just have the Q-Redo one. Some people have the, um, what do you call it, the ones you can put over your head. Um, I forget what they're called. You guys know what I'm talking about. But some type of steaming is good to open up the cuticles of your hair so that your products are penetrating deeper into your hair so that it can stay moisturized and healthy. Okay, the next thing, since we're talking about washing the hair, is good detangling tools. So these are both of my favorite detangling tools. This one is the Felicia Leatherwood brush, the detangling brush. I've talked about this so many times. And this is the We Dead, I think it's called like the Double Detangler. So I'll detangle my hair in the shower when there's conditioner in it with this one. And then when I'm styling my hair on wash day, um, like getting ready to put it in my twist, I will use this one. Never detangle your hair when it's totally dry and never do it when it's like soaking wet unless you're doing it in the shower with conditioner in it under the running water. And another thing you wanna make sure you do is always wash and detangle your hair in sections. For one, it's gonna minimize the amount of tangles that you have to deal with when you're detangling your hair. And it's just gonna allow you to get your hair and your scalp a lot cleaner than if you just tried to do it all at once, especially if you're transitioning, because you have those two different textures that are gonna get all knotted up. Um, and so separating it into sections is just gonna help with that process. And so to do that, you wanna just have some type of jaw clip to just separate your hair, twist it up, and just work on each section separately. Next, you want to have a good pick to, of course, pick out your hair, make it full and voluminous. You can get these anywhere, um, beauty supply stores, Sally's, wherever. A soft brush is going to be great for if you want to lay down your edges, if you're doing some type of bun or ponytail, you want to be able to smooth your hair back, which you guys, I mean, regardless of how you wear your hair, you probably have a soft brush already, but just thought I'd throw that one in there. Make sure you have your staple go-to um, styling line that you know is gonna work, it's not gonna cause any fails, and you're gonna have a good hair day, which is just gonna take a lot of trial and error. I didn't find any of my staple products until I tried a ton of products and found that these are the ones that work best for me. So one of the product lines that I love is the Kinky Curly. Um, I have the Curling Custard, the Not Today, 
and the spiral spritz. So if I'm going somewhere and I want to make sure that my style is guaranteed and it's not going to come out looking crazy, that's one of the lines that I will reach to and I know my hair is going to come out the way that I want it. Another thing you want to have is some edge control gel because you're going to want to lay down those edges, especially if it's curling up and it's not like super bone straight like when you were relaxed. I remember when I used to relax my hair or when I used to get my hair relaxed, I like my edges to be super duper slick, super duper straight. So if you want to tame those curls that are going to be coming out on those edges, make sure you have a good edge control gel that's going to just lay them down and keep them in place all day okay let's go with like styling your hair so of course you can do protective styling you can do braid outs you can do twist outs you can do faux locks twists all those kind of things but you can also do like flexi rod styles perm rod styles so these are just two sizes of flexi rods and perm rods that i have i have like every single size because y'all i told you i was a little crazy and a little over the top i would get every single thing to try it in my hair because i just was trying to figure out what would work so these are just my um, flexi rods. These are the larger ones. I can't even tell y'all the last time that I used these things. I don't. All I ever do is a twist out, maybe a puff or a bun, and that's pretty much it. But these will come in handy. This is a style where you can do it and it should last you for like a week or so, maybe a few days, just depending on how you make it. And then I have here some perm rods. Um, these are two sizes I have in here. So now perm rods are really awesome when you are transitioning and you have that, that uh, relaxed hair at the ends. So like I said, when I was transitioning, I always did my hair, if it wasn't in like a perm rod or, or flexi rod set, I always did my hair in a braid out. So I would corner on my hair and then because my ends were straight and they wouldn't curl, I would use these little perm rods just to kind of put on the ends of my hair to give it that curl that I needed. So it's like a braid and curl. Um, and that was really helpful in maintaining my style. Um, there's also like steam type of rollers or like I said, there are different size flexi rods and perm rods that you can get. But yeah, that's those are two other ways that are good to style your hair and it's good to have in your possession in case you're tired of doing a braid out or a bun or whatever and you want a protective style that you can do yourself and it's going to last. Okay, the next few things I'll talk about is going to be what you're going to put on your hair to protect it. So, well, no, actually, I'm going to go back to that one. The next thing I want to talk about is having accessories. So, scarves are going to be like your favorite thing, your best friend, because if your hair comes out looking a mess, you can always just throw a scarf on it like a headband and then just leave it out or put in a bun or put in a puff or whatever. But a scarf is going to be something that is really going to come in handy, especially if you have all different designs and different colors, matching different outfits, because trust me, you will have many days where your hair will fail and it will not look the way you thought it was going to turn out. It's not going to look like that girl in the YouTube video or that girl in the picture or that girl on the blog. It's going to be looking crazy. So a scarf is going to save your life when you just don't know what the heck to do with your hair. So the next thing is with all these scarves and stuff is accessories. So this is one of the mini bags of accessories that I have. Um, I have headbands, I have clips, I have jaw clips, I have banana clips. I have just about everything in here. Um, I always wanted to make sure that I was 100% prepared for whatever my hair was going to do. And so I always wanted to have some type of accessory to salvage a bad hair day okay a couple more things that i think you really need um scrunchies and make sure it's like a silk scrunchie so i have this one and then i have these so silk scrunchies and these little scrunchies are great for pineapple your hair if you're doing something like this which is a twist out or a braid out or flexi rod set or perm rod set where you want to preserve it at night either you can do one pineapple where you put your hair at the top or you can do like multiple pineapples, which is what I like to do and I find works best for me. The one pineapple I did for a long time and it would honestly just like flatten my hair and it would look a mess. Um, but I found doing my hair in four pineapples at night works 100% better. I can go like a week and my hair will last. I'll link a video that I have to show you guys exactly what I mean. Um, but that works awesome. You want to have some type of scrunchies, not rubber bands, not... Um, cotton scrunchies, something that is just really going to protect your hair like silk. Speaking of silk, next thing you want to do is make sure you're sleeping on a satin pillowcase. So this is a really cute one that I have from um, 
Lalini. And it's just a silk pillowcase, but it's amazing. Even when I travel, I travel with a silk pillowcase because even though I tie my hair up with a bonnet or scarf, um, I still want to make sure that I'm sleeping on a silk pillowcase. If for some reason your scarf should fall off, um, your hair is still going to be protected because the silk is on here. Cotton is going to dry your hair out. It's going to make it break off. It's going to make it less manageable. But silk, even just for your face, you know, for wrinkles and all that stuff, it's just really awesome to sleep on. Um, you want to make sure you have a awesome bonnet. A silk bonnet, this is one that I love. Um, this is the Sassy Hair Cap, I believe. I did a review on this. And I love this one because even if you're protective styling or if your hair is really long, it gives you the extra room that your traditional bonnet doesn't give you. And the inside is silk. It's not going to be too tight. It fits comfortably. You can clip it up if you want to put it under a shower cap. Um, and this is just like my favorite. So the last thing I want to mention is using a old t-shirt to dry your hair or a t-shirt type towel so you never want to use a regular towel to dry your hair it's going to dry your hair out it's going to cause breakage it's going to be a big mess so like i said use an old t-shirt you can go buy just like a random t-shirt get an old t-shirt for from your boyfriend yourself your brother your cousin whoever um or just get one of these that are um for your hair and it's made out of a t-shirt material and these are all of my starter kit transitioning essentials so yeah hopefully this was helpful to some of you guys um yeah obviously there are a ton more things that you're going to come across during your transitioning journey um things that you might want you need if i were to show you guys all the stuff i had you probably think i was crazy <laughs> but these are just the things that i feel are essential when you want to start your kit and it's not to say do not do not go out and buy all of these things at once um if you're low on money and you can't buy specific products use what you have like try to use up what you have before you go and buy more because then you're just going to end up with a ton of products that you can never go through um find a good return policy somewhere if you do want to go and invest in a product make sure that you're buying it someplace where if it doesn't work for your hair you can take it back and get your money back or switch it out for something else um just be smart about your purchases because i feel like being natural is very expensive very time consuming, very frustrating, because um, you never really know how your hair is going to come out. When you're wearing your hair straight, it's always going to be straight. You know, like you can try different products and they'll work differently on your hair, but it's always going to be straight as long as you straighten it. When it's natural and you're using like perm rods or flexi rods or twist outs or braid outs or rollers or whatever, you never know what you're going to get. So you always have to be prepared. Um, so I just kind of wanted to make you guys prepared and just give you a couple tips on things that you should have within your arsenal of transitioning starter kit type stuff if that makes any sense so hopefully this video was helpful to you guys um like i said i did make a video on my 10 tips for transitioning so make sure you check that out i have a video on my twist out routine my nighttime routine on my staple hair products if you want to know like all of the things that i feel like are just my go-to ride or die products for my hair i'll link all those things below and hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you give it a thumbs up if you did like it. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you click that notification bell to make sure you know when I post a new video. Because I post a new video every single week on Wednesdays at 3.30. So you can pretty much 99% be sure that there's going to be a video for me. So if you're not seeing that, then make sure you check to see if you're still subscribed. Because I try to give y'all a video every single week. And yeah, that's it. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, at AllMyLoves2. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, anything that you're curious about that I didn't mention. Always let me know what type of videos you guys want to see. Um, I create videos that I think you guys want to see, but, you know, giving me as much feedback as possible is awesome so I can make sure that I'm creating content that you guys want to see because the content that I create is for you. So I will link everything down below if you want to get these specific products. But like I said, these are just like the type of products you want to get. But choose your own brand. You know your hair. You know what works. You know your budget. You know work with that. And yeah, that is it. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.